Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Today's Saturday. We're gonna take my one of my beaters out today, and uh, it's dirty, so I want to clean it up a little bit. But I want to show you guys the easiest way. The whole point to this is I don't have a ton of time to go ahead and do a full detail on this thing. It's been sitting in the garage for a couple of months. I haven't driven it because we've been slam busy. Finally, we're taking a us weekend where we can get out and have some fun uh, and do some adulting because the kids are away this weekend. So um, we're going to take the 2020 Camaro out, the rally green one, and um, I need to get it cleaned up a little bit. Can't be looking crazy with this dirty car. So check it out. So I'm going to use the uh, foam and coat system to get this thing cleaned up. You'll see how dirty the wheels are. We drove it last night out to dinner and I was just looking at it. It was kind of a nice night and I'm like, oh my God, I'm embarrassed to even drive this thing. So um, here it is. Got to get it really clean and looking good, but I don't have a ton of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally going to film it with the wash and coat shampoo and then just pressure wash uh, everything off the soap and debris and all of that and then I'll bring you back and show you how fantastic just the foam and coat soap now keep in mind if you needed more work than the foam and coat uh, shampoo will give you the first part of that system uh, is the strip and prep shampoo and so you could use that even if you've already used the foam and coat shampoo you can spray the vehicle down and the wheels with the strip and prep shampoo and it's going to do a better job of cleaning than just the foam and coat but because this car does have the new everlasting showstopper x my 10 year uh ceramic acrylics with graphene uh triple trifecta technology coating it's got the good stuff on it and um all I'm going to have to do is hose it off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. And I'm going to bring you back and show you what the vehicle looks like. See all this crap everywhere? You can see it better from this angle. It's just got crap all over it. And it's just generally dirty. So I'm going to do a touchless car wash on this today. And uh, I'm going to show you how amazing the shampoo works. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. Let's see how dirty those wheels are. I'm going to go ahead and get that done. And I'm just going to spray it on, rinse it off. I'm not going to actually wash the car. So we'll be back. I'm going to show you these results. All right. I already uh, gave everything a hose down. Um, I did not pre-rinse before I sprayed on the foam. I just literally sprayed on the foam and coat shampoo. Uh, when, when both vehicles were dry, I went ahead and did the Lexus too, uh, just because it's sitting out here and why not? So the whole thing behind this foam and coat shampoo for the protective ability to work like it's supposed to, you want to spray it on the vehicle. Then you want it to halfway dry. Basically, uh, you want the ceramic acrylics with graphene, the triple trifecta technology, uh, to start to bond to the surface of the paint and the only way to really do that is to start to let it dry So essentially you want the water that's in the soap to evaporate out and then when you rinse it off It's actually going to help it to bond to the paint and stay where it's supposed to be So that's kind of where we're at right now I'm gonna give it just a couple more minutes and then uh, I'm gonna just go into getting the uh, in the pressure washer to do its thing and basically just remove all the dirt without me having to wipe on it. So give it a minute. This actually looks really good. So when it, when it starts to look like this and you've got a little bit of spotting happening, uh, that's a good time to go ahead and start rinsing. I'm going to go ahead and get them rinsed off and we'll bring you back just cause I don't have my tripod and this uh, phone case doesn't have a uh, kickstand kind of thing so i'll rinse it off bring you right back to see the results all right so i went ahead and did the camaro and then as i mentioned before i went ahead right after that i jumped on the lexus and got that done 
So you can see, I mean, just looking at the wheels alone, how clean they are compared to what they were before. You can't see the marks that I made anymore. It got them really nice looking. I sprayed the pressure washer in the barrels, at the calipers, all that. Got all that nastiness that was here off. Um, I do use deionized water. I've got a deionized water system in my garage. And I lease this from All Florida Water. That's the number. Call there and talk to Tess and ask for Jason if you're in the Central Florida area. I think they take care of um, the whole state of Florida. It's They're owned by Culligan. So the Lexus um, sits outside all the time. So it was quite a bit dirtier than the Camaro because it is garaged all the time. So both of them came out really nice. Uh, I have had people say to me, so Gary, when I use the foam and coat shampoo, I, it doesn't bead relentlessly when you hose it off. That is correct because the surface needs to get dried. Basically you need to lay down the product. Uh, right now it's just sitting on the surface and, um, during the curing process, it will lay down and do its thing. So you'll get the most slickness and gloss and beading action after 24 hours. Um, so once it's all cure, all of that stuff starts to happen. But since I haven't washed this thing, that's the other thing. I generally would recommend that you go ahead and do a real wash uh, with a bucket of just regular water. Uh, with no soap in it, like I have showed you in previous videos. But it does bead very, very nice and tight, especially if you do the wash, get it dry, and then try to spray it. Now you'll notice all that nice sheeting action that's happening. That is the product doing its business, basically. And uh, see how it beads up really nice? That's because it was almost dry and I just sprayed it. Um, you might be able to see it here on this quarter panel that's almost dry. Yeah, you can see the surface tension is crazy high. Super nice. Um, and then again on the, on the hood. This thing beads like crazy because it's it actually has been washed only with, well, so I did apply the triple trifecta top coat uh, about, I don't know, nine months ago, but I stripped all that off and did a light polish on the car. And all it's got on it now is just the foaming coat shampoo. You see how nice that is. So anyway, this is where we're at. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, nothing fancy, just showing you how I do a really quick touchless wash occasionally. Um, the reality is nine times out of 10, I'll do this method on the Camaro because I'm in a hurry generally um, and I want it to look okay. Um, not amazing, not taking the time for amazing. I just want it to look good and uh, it's kind of where we're at. So thank you guys for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate you. Uh, check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, what I've got going on. Uh, check out DetailJuice.com. If you got any product questions or if I can help you in your de detailing endeavors, please let me know. Have a great day, guys, and thanks again for watching. Okay, so uh, I told you I was done for the day, and so I've gone in, I've showered, we're about to head out for the day. So check this out. This car looks pretty dang good for having not touched it one time. Look at those wheels. Still a little bit wet, but the deionized water didn't leave any spots all over the place. Car looks awesome. All right, that's your uh, quick little update. But yeah, foam and coat shampoo, touchless car wash, good deal. Thanks guys. All right, as usual in Florida, over there it's not raining, but over here it is raining. And so I just stopped real quick at this Circle K 
uh, because I wanted to show you guys the beading action after the after you have used the foam and coat product spray it on the car let it dry halfway rinse it off real good and then let it completely dry then if you drive through rain there's your beading there's your really tight nice beading from the triple trifecta technology that's our proprietary ceramic ceramic acrylics blend with graphene I don't know about you, but that looks like tight beating to me. Looks awesome. Hey guys, alright, so I've ended this video probably three different times, but now I'm back at my house. Um, this is the following day after I did the touchless wash and all that stuff. Uh, yesterday I took the car out. Uh, we drove it through a bunch of rain, which I stopped. I showed you the beating action after the product started to cure. Now this is 24 hours after I applied the foam and coat shampoo. The biggest difference that you get with, with full cure is gloss is just ridiculous. And you get that increased surface tension uh, from, well, the ceramic acrylics with graphene, the triple uh, trifecta technology is uh, really awesome at gloss slickness uh, surface tension is incredibly high so contaminants can't bond and when I walked out of the house a couple minutes ago I looked at the car and I'm like wow the gloss is insane the paint is not all spotted up from the rain it looks great now check this out wheels have a little bit of brake dust on them just because I was driving it yesterday but the paint look at the paint though I got some bug poop or whatever on there but it's crazy glossy it's not all patchy even down at the bottom you don't see all kinds of nastiness from the road and from the rain that's what I'm trying to get at guys with our ceramic acrylics with graphene our triple trifecta technology you get increased surface tension to the point where your vehicle will stay clean way longer than anything else I've ever tried that's for sure um it's just incredible stuff of course i'll tell you whatever i guess um if you guys know me you know i'm not a bullshitter i'm not that guy I'm, i only tell you things are awesome when they are and i sure as shit am not going to release a product something like this uh to get a world full of uh scrutiny and complaints and all of that i mean i'm shooting you straight this stuff is amazing uh that car if i didn't have all that goodness on it would be very dirty today after driving it through all that rain um, and it's it's just not I don't even know what else to say to you uh, notice the tire I don't I don't dress my tire tires I personally don't like tired dressing uh, I clean them well uh, with e either universal clean and prep which is generally what I would use uh, or uh, I will use tiger's blood just on the tires Oca occasionally the wheels never get bad enough to have to use tiger's blood but the tiger's blood uh, it does have butyl in it and it actually will break down all that browning better than universal clean and prep will uh, well I shouldn't say better I should say faster is really the key there but the foam and coat system is amazing uh, it's super easy to use. I didn't even touch the car. If you don't touch the car, you're obviously not going to swirl it up. It's not possible. Uh, so that's where we're at, guys. Uh, I just wanted to show you the way the car looks today because I'm very happy with the results. And uh, the foam and coat system is amazing. Uh, it is live at detailjuice.com. You can find those products uh, with the one system. Um, I'm still waiting on official labels and all of that, but the product is ready. You can go to detailjuice.com, hit the shop tab, go to the one system, and you will find both of the products. All you need is the two soaps, and you're good to go. Check out the other videos. But thanks again for watching, guys. Car looks awesome, even after running it through the rain.